Hi, I'm Logan Clements, and I'm one of the producers at Happily. Uh, what does it mean to be a producer? Well, nowadays in the virtual world, that is essentially like a project manager as well as a show caller. And so in the lead up to the event, the producer is working with the entire Happily team as well as the client to make sure that we totally understand everything that the client wants to see at their virtual event. And then on the actual show day, it is coordinating between the streaming engineer, so our person running the stream, as well as all of our backstage managers for any of our live speakers and making sure everybody is on the same page, understands what's happening next. And as we've all learned on the virtual, sometimes things happen. And so you're also the main person to help troubleshoot and problem solve in case things don't go according to plan. And that is one of my favorite things when it comes to producing. It is always good to have a plan B and plan C. My favorite thing is we always have these backup plans because if you have them, then you hopefully don't have to use them. And my three top tips for having an effective virtual event really evolve around variety, timing, and audience. And so my first one with variety is if you're trying to hold people's attention here in the virtual world, you're gonna have to take a page out of the book of a lot of TV producers and just think about having things in bite-sized chunks. Everything feels so much longer in the virtual world, so having an hour and a half panel or even an hour panel can feel like forever versus cutting that down to 30 minutes or 25 minutes. So really think about that variety of timing and variety as well with your types of content. So maybe you incorporate videos in the midst of your normal presentation. Maybe you also have different speakers coming in and more that you might have had at your in-person event. And then timing would be another one. And that's again, everything, the shorter is better. 